welcome to this Markets.com company profile of Dow Chemical Company. Founded in 1897 by Herbert H. Dow, Dow's chemicals headquarters are located in Midland, Michigan. Approximately 46,000 employees work for the company, which operates worldwide. Currently, Dow Chemicals market cap is over $23 billion. The company is run under six segments, performance plastics, performance chemicals, agricultural sciences, basic plastics, basic chemicals, and hydrocarbons and energy. Andrew Laveris is the CEO, president, and chairman of the board of directors. Dow Chemical is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, where it is traded on the S&P 500 index. Moving on to the company's financials for 2007, Dow Chemical reported revenues of $53.5 billion and net earnings close to $29 billion. The balance sheet indicates that assets were $49 billion, liabilities were $30 billion, and shareholders' equities were $19 billion. On December 31, 2007, the stock was priced at $39.42. As of November 5, 2008, the stock closed at $25.56. $1.5 billion in dividends was paid out to the shareholders of the company in 2007. Taking a look now at operations, Dow Chemical specializes in the manufacture and sale of chemicals, plastic materials, and agricultural materials, with DuPont, Exxon, and BASF as its largest competitors. Dow Chemical's growth vision is simple and consists of three parts. The first one keeps the company investing in performance chemicals, which are chemicals that enhance properties to commodities, because it is a higher margin and more reliable business than basic chemicals. The second part involves making investments in joint ventures, which have worked out well for Dow Chemical, lowering the cost of spreading money into different projects. Finally, they continue to invest in regions of the world where there is growth, including Latin America, Eastern Europe, Russia, and the Asia Pacific. Dow Chemical is just coming out of a period where costs were increasing on the price of input commodities, during which they had to find a way to lower costs or pass on the cost to the consumers. The whole chemical industry at that time announced price hikes on their products as it was the easiest way to offset the price of crude. As the price of crude continues on its downfall from the summer highs, Dow Chemical would see profits soar if they could hold on to the price increases. Unfortunately, the drop in demand for crude means lower demand for chemical companies, which are then pressured to lower prices or decrease volumes. The slowing economy heavily affects the demand for chemicals, as the chemical, chemical industry is heavily dependent on the housing and auto sectors. While in the U.S., the housing and auto sectors and the economy were bringing down chemical companies, gains were being made elsewhere to offset those losses. In developing countries like Brazil, China, and Russia, sales had been growing by double digits for Dow Chemical, offsetting this lower U.S. environment, while the weak dollar was also helping to increase the numbers here because of the conversion of the currency. Both, however, are now gone. Last month, Dow announced that they see a decline in the volume across the world. The strong dollar will make their international sales seem even lower because of the new conversion rate. They also said that they are predicting a worldwide recession in 2009. As a result, Dow Chemical will go through difficult times until the end of this global slowdown or recession. Once the economy turns around, the outcome of the company will depend heavily on oil prices. On the positive side, however, they have a strong management team, a strong cash position, and a great dividend. And with that said, we conclude this Markets.com company profile of Dow Chemicals. I'm Luisana Swigert. Have a great day.